years since like the early naughty sort of thing. When did you get to that point when you thought, okay, yeah, we've got enough material together and we're gonna put an album out. Yeah, this is it. Um, to, I mean, to be honest, the, the first time we got together, Paul and I had been working together for about six months, uh, making sort of underground house records. And he, he said to me, like, he'd been out on a, on a DJ trip and he met this guy, Steve, uh, he's supposed to be some kind of singer. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, whatever. I said he played some bongos. So I was like, whatever. Uh, and he's like, um, we should get him in the studio one day and, right. and see what happens. And the stick came in that first day we created Days Go By and like the like, first few hours. So In a few hours. In a few hours. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't far off that, yeah. yeah. That's good. And and then it just went from there. So I mean the three of us got together and that was it from the from the uh, great yeah. running. But six months after that we, we kind of thought there was a, a, a well, we, we signed it within a month or so after finishing it. Yeah, we had yeah. Something, yeah. literally, something we had to go to five You have finish to finish it. an album in two months. We're like, okay, get an album done. Okay. So it wasn't like we had time to do it. So we, you had kind of had to yeah. work towards something. We were literally chasing our yeah. tail for two years. We, do you find it better to work like that if you've got like a deadline? I think you adapt yeah. to the situation. Yeah. Like, well, right. try to get him out of bed more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys really like exploded onto like the dance scene and you know obviously wider internationally. Um, were you really prepared for like the sort of impact that you had? No, I, I don't think in any way, shape or form it, it, it was, you know, we, we all came together for, for a love of, of, you know, club, electronic music and you know we, we'd all come from different backgrounds of, of, of whether it was like, you know, being musicians at school or being in rock bands and stuff. So it, it kind of evolved as, as the boys were saying, it, you know, just as things were happening, it, it was like, right, we're going to do a live show. Okay, we need to rehearse for that. If we're going to do it live and we're going to be electronic, you know, had other people do it, but, you know, that we're, as is kind of song based and um, it was, uh, you know, we, we always just felt like it was just you know, like, or even technology at the time, it was like, how can you do these things? How can we make this work? I and mean, today it's just so much simpler. Yeah. But I know it sounds crazy, but you know, seven, eight years ago, there were so many limitations to what yeah. you could do. And, and what happened in the studio to then go and do on stage, we, you know, sometimes it worked for us and sometimes it didn't, is, is, is that, you know, you, you try and play something and you strip it right down so it's even just like an acoustic thing with just a, you know, with a 4-4 four, four kick drum. Wow. And uh, it was, uh, there was, there was more, there was better memories than there were bad memories, <laughs> but it, it, it was testing at times. But I think the end result now is, is, is it just works so well for us. Like a trial and error sort of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So when you won the Grammy, which is pretty bloody cool, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, beep. Um, what I was going to say, what was that feeling like when you won that? Oh, uh, and giving was... birth, having <laughs> sex. Uh, no, no. It, 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 of course, it was. Did the um, did the uh, things kind of like come flooding in? No, we um, we literally were as it's been read and told in the bibles of the internet. We were in a bar, we were having a drink, and we went, oh fuck, we've won. <laughs> uh, and but that wasn't because we did. It was it was any disrespect to no, the no, no, it's no, because no. everybody just said. You're not going to win, right? And, and, you really uh, did say that. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're up against no doubt. Even the record company, company, uh, yeah. the record company said to us, "So we're there with the. We was up for three nominations. It was artwork and video, and we lost them two. So we was with the art guys and the director in the bar, and we're watching it on the TV. Yeah. And and it came up that we won. That is amazing. And then we had to well, really run very fast. Was, man, our manager at the time, he was like, "Boys, your your wall's up next. Like, go just, to just go and sit in the seats." But because we were like, didn't realize how big the stadium was. You're too busy we're up in the gods. <laughs> no, we were literally, we're meant to go, to go up the pine. It's, yeah. it's, like, it's like being at the O2 and we're in a bar at the back and we've got to go to the main stage, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you have to really make a goal for oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, you playing at Sankey Soak tonight, Sankey's. Um, yes. And you're doing it like a live PA DJ oh, it's set? It's kind of like a time. Right. We do like a mixture because obviously yeah. we. We can DJ, we can play live, we can, so we try to give something extra. Okay, excellent. So I'm wondering how that works then. Well, Paul takes his top off. Oh, and yeah. about, about two and a half hours in. This is for the just, ladies. Just, 
and then the you know, you know the way it goes, don't absolutely, you? Absolutely, know? absolutely. You need to get them girls at the front, definitely. And I'll put them in the shade, like right? look around and look a bit like Grizzly Adams tonight. When <laughs> you do the uh, when you did live performances, how's that? How's that work? Well, a live performance is, is more based towards what you'd imagine seeing a band on stage, and, and there is, you know, there's the three of us: Paul's on keys, Ben's on guitar, and singing, there's percussion and stuff. And, and that drama. is it, probably exclusively only our own material. But because we all came together through, you know, being DJs and, and you know, percussionists and, and, and stuff, the DJ sets are just as exciting for us because it's, it's like, you know, you get this fantastic music that, you know, in the old days it was coming through vinyl and then it was coming through a CD promo and now it's coming through as, you know, as, as emails. Mm. And you get this music and there's still that passion of taking it out and that excitement of like, wait till we play this tonight and stuff. And, right. you know, it, it's, we're all, we all do different things in, in, we all come together in the band, but we all do different things. So to keep it interesting, I mean, you know, as we were saying earlier, it, it could be an acoustic set on the beach in Thailand. It could be, you know, the set that's in Sankey's tonight. Right. We're playing in London on Wednesday and it's the full live band with the, the drummer that we use. So it keeps it really fresh and exciting for us and also inspiring because you get, I think you get something from all of that that can lead on to another so song or another yeah. remix or, you know, another. And it causes us a lot of headaches and problems. <laughs> We can't, we can't just have the one it. simple setup going, oh yeah, you're a band, you play like, no, we complicate that. No, you, want it, you yeah. want it all. Yeah. But that's you know, a good look at the Sutra, it tells you to do different positions. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to one thing, you know, when you can have them all. Exactly, we, we're not missing you. You said that, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> track or record whatever that put you onto electronic music? Cool. Is that a toughie? Oh, I think for me it was Strings of, strings of Life. It's got to be a classic that one. Yeah, I just remember. Absolutely. See, I listened you get bored to uh, no, Chris Forbes on Capsule Radio about 86 and around that time it's probably Jack Your Body. Jack Your Body? <laughs> It wasn't like that. No. <laughs> um, very, very early house, and um, I guess then it went into a bit of new beat around 87, 88. And it's anything electronic, even to the Walkman, to the time. Stuff like that was new enough dance music. Yeah. So, what bands really impress you at the moment then? Mike Snow. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Mid Lake, Mid Lake, definitely. Phoenix. Okay. Right, okay. Um, Phoenix, I've been around for Delphic. a while. Uh, Delphic, we like Delphic. Yeah, uh, that's metal disco cool. scene. Yeah, yeah. Disco, metal disco scenes, it seems good. Um, we haven't really, we're pretty really quite lucky, we haven't had a chance to go and see many bands recently because we've been so busy. So busy. Mm -hmm. And if, um, obviously this year we should get the festival circuit. Yeah, we are in Manchester and earlier, didn't we? We supported a Manchester legend, Ian Brown. Ian Brown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smile in the heart, uh, that was definitely. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's very good. We were very supporting good. him recently. That's so, how, how, over the last 12 months, what's been your highlights? Supporting Ian Brown. Supporting Ian Brown. Did you get to party with him afterwards? Uh, no, but he beat my t shirt. <laughs> 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 it did, yeah. Um, Glastonbury. Glastonbury, our first Glastonbury. Right. Yeah. Not being able to go to Creamfields, Argentina was a bit of a downer for the year. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do music, right, obviously that's what you do for a living, what do you do when you're not doing music? I'm doing music. So, just like, yeah. Cause, to cause, my wife's um, annoyment. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned that you guys are based in London yeah. and you're in Boston. Yeah. So how? Close. Yeah, you were telling me. <laughs> yeah. You were telling me how does it get? How do you get together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I've seen I've seen to be back here a lot, and and um, my main reason was was just you know it, it's when you when you're doing lyrics or songwriting like focus is absolute number one, and you know you can write down lyrics. You can write down four lines today and, and think they're rubbish, but you could be in a different frame of mind. You could be walking down the street on a, you know, on a, you know, on a, a beautiful winter's day with snow on the ground and, and sun. Look at the same four lines and think they're great. So it's, it's, it's all perception of, right. of, of you know where you are, and what you're doing. And I wasn't really getting that anymore in London, so I moved over to the States. And so um, which you're loving, I think. Which I love because everything I seem to write there. 
and I really feel like, yeah, that means something to me, and, and there's, you know, there's that confidence, and, and, and it means, and, and, and the dollar's two to one as well. Well, then. <laughs> 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 <laughs>